India is all set to launch a national critical mineral mission with an outlay of 34,300 crore rupees to promote exploration of critical minerals like lithium, cobalt, copper, and nickel. After establishing direct maritime link, Bangladesh and Pakistan are planning to initiate direct air flights. Pakistan's Inter Services Intelligence is seeking to establish its presence in some strategic areas of Bangladesh, a move that could be detrimental to India's security interests. Russia is starting serial production of a new 1,000 km range variant of Iskander missile, that has been achieved using a new efficient engine and by increasing fuel carriage by 15%. Prime Minister Modi and French President Emmanuel Macron are expected to sign the deal for three Super Calvary submarines and 26 Rafale Marine fighters on 11 February. The Aeronautical Development Establishment is integrating the 100 km range smart anti-airfield weapon into the Archer Shot Range unmanned aerial vehicle for precision strike missions. Hindustan Aeronautics is gearing up to start taxi trials of the Cats Warrior, and the first flight within the next few weeks. Indian Army troops deployed in J and K have been observed sporting new armor and plate carriers and level 3 plus advanced combat helmets. Hyderabad based Redon Systems has developed Pehra artificial powered tethered drone, that has been designed for continuous and comprehensive 360 degree long endurance surveillance of military bases. Pitching the Su-57 equipped with the Al-51F1 new generation power plant to India, Russian media outlet Sputnik has reported, that the Su-57 is outright superior to its international counterparts, as the Su-57 has a range of 5,500 km as compared to 2,100 km of the F-35. The Su-57 has a top speed of 2,470 km per hour which is much higher than 1960 km per hour of the F35. The Su57 is equipped with the 400 km range R37M long range missile, which allows it to engage air targets at distances twice that of the American F35. The Su57 also has the capacity to carry the Kinzhal hypersonic missile and is also fitted with six radars to provide significant advantage in situational awareness over pilots flying the F-35. The Su-57 is also equipped with a unique directional infrared countermeasures system, that is capable of firing laser beams to blind incoming enemy missiles. In a significant development, Saudi Arabia could be the second export customer for the 155mm 52 caliber ATAGS howitzer. The ATAGS has already proven its market viability by securing a deal with Armenia, marking a significant milestone for Indian defense exports. This potential sale to Saudi Arabia will open new markets for Indian defense exports, and also strengthen bilateral defense cooperation between the two countries. The Indian Army's evaluation of the striker armoured personnel carrier has reached its conclusion, as the three-week-long trials of the striker equipped with Javelin anti-tank guided missiles have been conducted in the challenging high-altitude terrain of Ladakh. The Army has expressed doubts about the suitability of striker for operations at high altitudes, due to the 350-horsepower engine of the striker. The deal will only go through if it is upgraded to a customized 600 horsepower engine with transfer of technology, that will enable local production of both the engines and vehicle. New Space Research and Technologies will unveil a new type of long endurance helicopter UAV at the Aero India 2025, that features sleek aerodynamic shape for improved flight dynamics and a tail rotor that enhances efficiency and stealth capabilities. Today's top 3 comments.